All right, so, uh, so we're going to be showing how you do logic case. Uh, so we have like four of these, so you can know how to fully do it. I named it one, two, three, and four. It's really simple. I mean, that gives the shape name for you doing it in a complete actual one. I'll name this logic case one because uh, you might have a lot of these depending on the level. Sometimes you might be using it. This one's not more for mini game maps, but uh, you. There, there are all the cases that you, want, you might want to use it in a uh, Half-Life 2 mod or something like that. So name like Logic Case 1. And the button doesn't really need a name. Make an output on press LC1, pick random. And then, see, so after you have named these, uh, for this you might want to be disabled after a little bit. Uh, for this tutorial, it will be di have been disabled to just do one. Uh, disable again. But, uh, but, but how it's sort of, we want to disable for this tutorial five seconds after. And then uh, copy, paste it three times. And then just change the number. This should be, this should be two. Uh, this should be three. And this will be four. Apply. And it's all five seconds after. So these are the numbers that these are set to disabled. But when, when, but when picked on this, it will be enabled. But then we shortly after, in case one, uh, one will be enabled. Copy, paste, paste, paste. Two. Three. And four. This. Be on four, one, two, three. Shift. Then this has to be set to two. So let's do that. And then this has to be flags, and this, uh, I don't really know what you, have, you, you need to filter. It could just be a short description of what it does. Can tell when that decompiles if I don't see if it does anything. So we'll pop a spawn down, have a sky box up there. And then, yes. And then run it. Uh, just running fast if you're testing stuff. I'm trying to get a new run on this. This is the one we spent, so. Yeah. Alright, this, let's go to LC. And then, uh, and I take a bit to load if you're loading it for the first time. Right, we're loaded in, so, nothing here. Alright, uh, reset. Uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Comes in this series, I think. Uh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. And, just because it's, uh, one of four chains. Doesn't mean it will be um, like out of four times, it doesn't mean all will go. Uh, it's likely, but it doesn't mean it will. Like, it could stay on the same one for like four times. Uh, yeah, so like, even with like, uh, that's just how statistics work. That's how you do it. Uh, you could use this for many things, such as. A Simon Says Machine, Ford Corners. Uh, this really works on mini game stuff. Just the way that use I've ever used it for. I don't. It probably always reasons. But you could use this. So yes. Great. Now let's go back to this. And I'll set another entity for you. Um. And logic branch, I think. Yeah, I think logic. Logic branch is a shorter version of this, but it also works. I logic case so this have a lot has a lot more cases. The branches, let me see. Yeah, this only has four. I think. I don't really use one of those. I usually use cases. I just. You do two kinds of 
but it's for it. Uh, you probably won't use this very much. I just find it really useful in mini game maps. And I guess you could use it as other map. You have a story map. You want different outcomes. That's all for today. Uh, I'll probably upload more soon.